Hello, my dear children. Good morning, all of you. Today for class seven, exponents and power, part one. Please pay your attention on board. First introduction. Explanation. That is a to the power n. A. a is the base and m is the power. A is the any numerical number. M also any numerical number. This is why we may write seven to the power seven. Seven is the base and seven. You are students of class seven. This is why base and power both are given here seven. Or suppose the natural number eight. This is the natural form. If you convert it to exponential form, that is two q. Two is the base and three is the power or exponent. This you have to remember. All this there are laws. These are the ten laws you have to understand clearly. You have to remember also. A in a to the power n into a to the power n. In place of a, any natural number it may be. In place of m also same. And it it may continue. Here is only the two terms are given, but it may more than uh, two. That is a to the power m, a, a to the power p, a to the power q. In this way, it may continue. If you see the bases are same, then power will be added. If you see bases are same, in case of division, power will be subtracted. In case of power multiplication, it will be into. And here bases are different. This is why a b whole to the power m it will be split in this way. This is also in this way there are more laws. You have to go to the laws. You have to remember these laws. And up to class seven, in your book you will get eight, nine, and ten not given. So a through a to the power m equal to a to the power m by n. And if you see bases are same in the both side, then power is equal. And if you see power is equal in both side, then bases are equal. Remember this. On this, the sums are given from your uh, book M L R O L Exercise 4.17 Part 2. Write the following number as powers of two of one zero two four. This is why you have to do the LCM. After get, doing the LCM, you will get the factor. How many two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one zero two four equal to two to the power ten. This is the exponential form or power of two. Next up, the find the value of x of this. Here minus three by four whole to the power x equal to this. First, we have to find out the base. Without base, power is not possible. This is why you have to find out the base. So this is why you have to do the LCM. This is equal to three to the power five because one two three four five, and this is one two three four five four to the power five. So minus three by four whole to the power x in place of this we may write three to the power five. In place of this we may write four to the power five. Here we have started. By two here is four. Why here is given four and here is given two. You have to proceed according to problem. You have to follow the problem instruction of the problem. You have to follow attentively. And then uh, minus three by four whole to the power x and this is whole to the power five. Then bases are same, so therefore x equal to five. Sum is completed. Next sum, write the prime factorization the number in the exponential form. Same thing, you have to split by doing LCM. Then you will get the exp exponential form that is eight four zero zero equal to two to the power four one two three four and three to the power one three only one five square and seven to the power one. This is the exponential form. Next sum that is exercise four point two eight per three. Simplify this. 3 to the power 5, 10 to the power 5, you have to write the sum. Then we have to break in this way. 10 we may write 2 into 5 and 25 we may write 5 into 5. And 5 to the power 7 and 6 we may write 2 into 3 whole to the power 5. 
then we may break in this way uh, 2 into 4 pi that is 2 to the power pi uh, into 5 to the power 5 applying this rule these laws we have to remember otherwise you will be confused then this uh, 5 we may write 5 square and uh, same way we may write this 2 to the power 5 and 3 to the power 5 after that we have to here you have to notice attentively 3 3 to the power 5 in numerator there is 3 to the power 5 this is why 3 to the power 5 minus 5 according to this rule and similarly 2 to the power 5 here uh, 2 to the power 5 here also so 2 to the power 5 minus 5 5 to the power 5 plus into 5 square this is why it will be added 5 plus 2 and here is 7 so it will be minus 7 so this is why naturally three, it is coming 3 to the power 0 2 to the power 0 5 to the power 0 you know very well anything to the power 0 equal to 1 so the result is coming 1 very simple if you remember if you understand this part then no difficulties next time simplify this here one thing you must remember i didn't write to the a sum you must copy the sum then you will start here 1 by 3 whole to the power minus 2 if it is reciprocal reciprocal when you will take then the power will be changed that is minus 2 it will be plus 2 reciprocal 3 by 1 4 by 1 and 5 by 1 in short you must remember this and then simplify you will get the answer that is 14 next sum by what number should be multiplied minus 6 whole to the power minus 1 so that the product is 10 to the power minus 1 solution let the number be x then by the problem minus 6 whole to the power minus 1 into x equal to 10 to the power minus 1 by simplifying by applying the law, law that is a to the power minus n that is 1 by a to the power n exactly we have to follow the uh, laws up after that we are getting this expression then simplifying we are getting the value of x that is 3 by 5 this is the number we have to multiply the sum is completed please pay your attention on the solution again very simple chapter very fundamental basic chapter you have to go through the laws okay pay your attention on the solution again Okay, thank you everybody.